In the Pacific Northwest, you may wonder why you would want to collect rainwater when we have so much of it. To answer this question, the Snohomish Conservation District visited several landowners around Puget Sound who have chosen to install larger cistern systems with great results. For some people, rainwater catchment was the most economic option for a high quality water source. Despite our climate, many rural properties in our region do not have an adequate well water supply, especially for irrigation during our dry summers. If you are in an urban area, you have likely felt the effects of competing demands on freshwater sources through your increasingly expensive water bill. Some landowners choose to collect rainwater to have more control over their water security. Others wanted a solution to the mud and drainage issues on their own property. And perhaps the most important reason for rainwater catchment and other low impact development techniques is the protection of water resources from the pollution that we are seeing from stormwater runoff. Hi, my name is Cindy and I live on Kameno Island. And I am standing here in front of a rain capture system off of my barn. All of the um, downspouts are tied out into this tank. It's a thousand gallon tank. And I went ahead with this system because I have goats and their barnyard was getting too muddy and I needed to do something to uh, take care of that problem. This system has a, a hose attached to it that I use then the water from the tank to irrigate my blueberry patch. It takes about a half an inch to fill up this tank and that's pretty much takes care of my irrigation maybe except for one month or two months out of the summer where I have to supplement that but it's been working really well it's keeping the barnyard dry. I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about our rainwater catchment system here at our home at Warm Beach. Um, the system is part of an overall plan that we had here when we built, uh, designed and built the home, um, a way to diminish the amount of stormwater that goes from the street down to the um, fragile infrastructure of the bay. The rainwater is captured on both sides of the house roof here in a gutter system way up there at the top. And then that the rainwater comes down through a typical um, rain gutter. And it looks like the water's going into the building, but it's not. This is actually a fascia board that is covering another gutter. Let's go back behind there. And then that gutter carries the water to the other side of this bamboo wall and into our 625 gallon rainwater cistern on the other side. So now we're in this, the uh, storage area where you can see the rainwater cistern behind me. The rainwater comes off the roof, is captured through the downspout and into this gutter, which again you can't see because it's um, artfully hidden behind this fascia board. But you can see that now there's a pipe connected to that gutter and the water is coming from that pipe and down into the filtering system. Under the, the top boards of the deck, we have this system of plastic which actually helps to collect the rainwater that goes down through the cracks in the deck. And all of that water then is filtered or uh, put down into this gutter. And that gutter also feeds into the water to go to the cistern. So you can see that we've tried as much as possible to capture any rain that falls on the house or on the deck behind us. And even though we were working with a steel roof, which helps to keep the water a little bit cleaner, the materials that come down in the rainwater or come off the roof are filtered out here in this box before the water ends up going down into the cistern. The cistern is 625 gallons. You can actually only see two thirds of it here above the ground. The rest, the, the other third is actually buried. The water gets pumped and it's on a schedule with a timer over here. So we can set the timer to run at certain times during the day in the summer months to get that rainwater out. And it gets pumped out through this pipe and the pipe is then connected out into the garden through the drip water system that we use to irrigate the garden. So down here you can see the two pipes coming out. The smaller one goes to the drip water system that ends up in the garden down here. And the larger one is that overflow pipe. So in those years when we have way too much rain in the winter time, if it overflows, it just naturally comes out through that pipe and goes down this way and makes its way slowly back to the bay. Then the drip water system is connected to a series of um, drip hoses here in our garden, this level and the one down below. And for the most part, we can water this whole um, vegetable garden and a few pots 
along the house there with that drip water system just fed by the cistern and the rainwater that we've captured in the wintertime. Is two 1200 gallon rainwater tanks running off the, the roof through a leaf filter, which is open so it pushes the leaves out as it comes down. And they, they tend to fill up in decent rainfall in two to three weeks. When they get full, they run out and they go back into the system that the rain gutters normally would have gone down into. All summer long, we keep them here. And then in the winter time, I take that out and bypass them and drain them, clean them, so I can put it back together next spring. Basically, we plug them in with an extension cord. And they each have a sump pump inside of them. Comes, comes out of a valve, you open the valve and hook it up, you get water. When you purchase the tanks, they come with a sump pump right inside of them you can hook up, plug in. I'm using an extension cord, plug it in. And assuming it's full or got some water in it, you open the valve, you get rainwater. Now I use this water for watering our gardens. We have a series of raised beds as well as some potted plants and flowers. I'm planning on eventually being able to water my lawns with it, but I need more pressure than the sump pump provides. So I've got this setup down here where I have it coming out and going two ways. One way goes, connects up to a hose for a drain, which I'll run around and actually put in the downspout so that it doesn't flood anywhere. It goes out through the normal thing. The other side, I actually have a PVC pipe set up with a large valve prepared for my, a jet pump system, which I'm hoping to be able to get 50 PSI to run sprinklers and, and other high pressure items. Regardless of the reason that impels you to consider rainwater catchment, there are a diversity of systems to suit your needs. Water is a resource. Take control of your own water supply and learn more by visiting betterground.org. Mm -hmm.